With the dura removed, now you can start to see the ridges and the bumps of the sheet brain, right? So the ridges and the bumps being the sulci and the jiri. And then the longitudinal fissure is this deep fissure that goes between the two sides, right? And so that's going to separate the left and right hemispheres. In the back, you can see the cerebellum. And the cerebellum also has sulci and jiri, but they're smaller than they are in the cerebrum. And if you separate the two sides a little bit and push down on the cerebellum, you can see this structure here that looks like two round bumps up here and then two smaller bumps underneath. This is called the corpora quadrigemina, which means four twin bodies, also called the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. That part is the top of the brainstem, especially the part of the brainstem called the midbrain. If we flip the brain over, we can see that this is the bottom then of that same part of the brain. Right? See how I, if you look at it there and then you roll it around, you can see that this part then is the bottom of that area called the midbrain. Now there's still some pia matter attached. You can see this thin layer of tissue that's close contact with the brain. If you peel some of that back, and off the brain and some of the blood vessels will come with it. You can see those parts of the brain a little bit better. So these bottom parts of the brain stem, this one right here and this one right here are called the cerebral peduncles. This part here, remember we called the hypothalamus. This is the only bit of the hypothalamus you can see with the naked eye. Most of it's inside. These two little bumps right here and right here are the mammillary bodies. Those are part of the hypothalamus. So if you see the optic chiasm in these cerebral peduncles, the hypothalamus is this area right between the two, between the optic chiasm and the cerebral peduncles. This bump, part of the brain stem, is called the pons. And then this last bump here, this much longer one on the sheet brain, is called the medulla oblongata. The pons also helps connect the brain stem to the cerebellum. So you can sort of see how it rolls up here to connect it to the cerebellum, right? So the pons and the cerebellum are connected to each other. The word pons means bridge. 